When you think about prehistoric times, the first thing that probably comes to mind are the dinosaurs. But while these animals mastered the land and eventually the air, the prehistoric dinosaurs never lived in the ocean. For millions of years longer than the dinosaurs even existed, the oceans belonged to an ancient group of predators, the sharks. And in the hundreds of millions of years that the sharks have existed for, they produce some truly scary creatures. Here are three of the most terrifying prehistoric sharks. Helicoprion. This mysterious predator is well known for having a bizarre buzzsaw structure present on its jaws. Helicoprion lived from about 290 million years ago to 250 million years ago, first evolving in the Permian period and actually managing to survive the worst mass extinction of all time, before dying out sometime in the early Triassic. But the most unusual feature of this animal, its strange curved saw of teeth, has confused scientists for years now, and it's still not entirely certain how these teeth would have fit in the shark's mouth. Since shark skeletons are made out of cartilage, it is very rare for them to be preserved as fossils, since they decay very easily, and so usually only teeth are found. This means that there are only isolated swells of this animal's teeth present, and it is therefore fairly challenging to work out how they worked on the organism. The walls that have been found seem to show that as the animal grew older, the smaller, older teeth were moved to the center of the spiral as newer, larger teeth developed, resulting in the incredible shapes seen in the fossils. Multiple different ideas have placed the tooth wall in different areas on the shark, including hanging down off of the lower jaw, having just the outer teeth exposed on a circular saw projecting from the lower jaw, and having the circular saw placed further back in the creature's throat. It has been confirmed that the saw did sit in the lower jaw of Helicoprion, and it likely used the mysterious structure to bite into soft-bodied prey, such as squid and fish, since a few indications of wear were present on the teeth, but not many, suggesting that it did not feed on animals with hard protective shells. Stethacanthus This next bizarre animal is fairly well known for its unusual anvil-shaped dorsal fin, another strange structure that makes this ancient shark stand out from its modern-day relatives. Stethacanthus first originated in the late Devonian period, and lived until about 323 million years ago before it died out in the early Carboniferous period. The prominent dorsal fin is only present in male individuals, leading scientists to conclude that it may have been used as a display structure and evolved due to sexual selection, as a lot of eccentric structures in animals often are although it could also have been used as a deterrent to any other creatures that may have been predators of the shark. The dorsal fin of males was covered in small spikes, which were modified scales made out of the same material that modern shark scales are composed of. There were also spikes covering a small patch on the head of male Stethacanthus. The purpose of these spikes can only be guessed at, possibly having something to do with attracting a mate, or it might have had a function in the actual mating process. Another idea is that the shark used the paired structures to clamp onto the bodies of larger animals in order to hitch a ride on them, in a similar way to how sucker fish today latch onto the bodies of whales and other creatures using their sucker disc. However, this theory has been largely disproved due to the structure of the spikes, as well as the fact that only males possessed them. The shark also had more strange structures, including long backward pointing extensions on their pectoral fins, called pectoral fin whips. Once again, the function of these structures is unknown, but they were possibly used in the process of mating. Stethacanthus likely fed on fish and other small-sized prey, as it was not particularly large, reaching about 70 centimeters long. There is also evidence to suggest that this shark was migratory, and that it probably traveled large distances to particular breeding grounds. Megalodon. This last prehistoric shark is one that everyone has heard of. Carcharocles megalodon, more commonly known as just megalodon, is famous for its enormous size and terrifying nature. Its imaginative name means big tooth, and it's not hard to understand why. Since parts of shark bodies other than their teeth rarely fossilize, megalodon is mostly known from its huge teeth, far larger than any other shark teeth. This monstrous animal lived from some time in the Miocene period until near the end of the Pliocene, becoming extinct about 2.6 million years ago. However, in geological time, this was not very long ago at all, 
and so humans only just miss seeing this predator for themselves. And it should be noted that Megalodon never lived at the same time as the dinosaurs, despite some erroneous reconstructions. Now all that remains of it are its giant teeth and a few vertebrae, but these fossils indicate that Megalodon had a very wide distribution, with discoveries of them being made all over the world, from Australia to Europe to Africa and the Americas. However, trying to work out the exact size of Megalodon has been a difficult task, since there are only teeth and a few vertebrae with which to calculate it. General consensus among scientists is that Megalodon could grow to be between 15 to 18 metres long, although some estimates put it at around 20 metres long, or just over that. However, there is not much evidence for these greater lengths, but they are still possible. Even at 15 metres, Megalodon was far larger than any other shark that has ever lived, utterly dwarfing a great white shark. The way in which Megalodon fed on its prey is very interesting, and was likely quite a messy ordeal according to the fossil evidence that we have. The teeth of the giant shark were very strong, robust structures, and the animal was able to bite very powerfully, with it being claimed in a paper that Megalodon is clearly one of the most powerful predators in vertebrate history. These impressive adaptations allowed Megalodon to be able to feed on a huge range of prey, including prehistoric whales, dolphins, seals, sea lions and sea turtles. Evidence of the devastating predator-prey interactions involving Megalodon are visible on the bones of various fossilised marine mammals, and some very vivid conclusions about the shark's feeding habits can be drawn from these. Megalodon appears to have deliberately targeted bony areas of the whales it fed on, such as the ribcage, unlike modern great whites which tend to avoid them. With its powerful bite and strong teeth, Megalodon would crush the unfortunate animal's bones, trying to do as much damage as possible to its internal organs. When feeding on smaller prey, such as smaller dolphins or seals, Megalodon would have rammed the animal from below, immobilising them and allowing the shark to then kill and eat them. As well as these strategies, Megalodon later had to adapt to feeding on new prey once whales evolved much larger body sizes. To account for this, Megalodon targeted the flippers of the whales, ripping them off or damaging them beyond use, so that the whale would not be able to escape and could be killed more easily. All of this has been recorded on the bones of the prey items that have become fossilised, with clear megalodon bites still scarring them millions of years later. It is therefore understandable why this animal has been called arguably the most formidable carnivore ever to have existed, and why this is a truly terrifying prehistoric shark. Thank you for watching this video, I hope you enjoyed it and learned something new. Remember to subscribe to the channel for more videos like this one, and let me know in the comments what you think about these amazing prehistoric animals.